Absolutely. You got some neat weather? Uh, we've got some sunshine today and a little bit of a warm-up this cool. afternoon. Yeah, it work. will be cold this morning, though. But check out the sky in Tuscaloosa. Beautiful view there. Not a cloud to be found. Gorgeous sunrise there. Bryant-Denny Stadium in the center of your screen. Temperatures in Tuscaloosa, 27 right now. Aniston, you've got 28 with a sun-filled sky. 31 with a calm wind in Birmingham. Temperatures for the most part mid to upper 20s. Again, there's a few outliers like the coldest being Gadsden at 22 in the low 30s at Birmingham. But otherwise, mid to upper 20s. You have 29 at Alabaster, Clanton, 26 in Talladega at this hour. And as we move through the day, sunshine will abound. We will see that bright blue sky. And those temperatures are actually going to climb pretty nicely. It does stay cold, I would say. You know, I use the word cold. Anytime we're below 40, it's just cold. Whether it's 32 or 39, it's all chilly, right? 39 at 9 a.m. And then we'll climb into the mid-40s by 10 o'clock. And we'll be on our way into the mid-50s for your new time. All right, your storm track radar showing a completely dry scan at this hour. But as I fast forward time, we'll start the future cast clock at midnight tonight. Mainly because it stays dry between now and midnight, but between midnight tomorrow and 6 a.m., winds will begin shifting out of the south, and that will allow for a couple of spotty showers to dot the morning sky from Birmingham all the way down towards Mobile. By 11 o'clock, we will see uh, more clusters of rainfall, but notice that the rain still pretty disorganized even at 11 a.m., but it will become much better organized through the afternoon as a cold front begins diving in. 3 o'clock, most of that rain is going to be to the north northwest of that Interstate 2059 corridor. So places like Coleman all the way to Hamilton down towards Fayette. From 3 to 6 p.m., that rain begins to slide into the Birmingham metro, stretching back into Tuscaloosa and reaching all the way up to Etowah County, even northwest Georgia. That to be said, it looks like it could be a soggy drive home tomorrow night. And then from 6 to 8, most of that rain pushes south of I-20 tomorrow evening, and then we'll begin to see that clearing sky at around midnight Friday morning. It dries out Friday, and Friday is Groundhog Day. Can't wait to see what old Puxatani Phil says about if we're going to see an early spring. Oh, fingers crossed. Mid 40s for your Friday, though, so much cooler. Low 50s Saturday, and another bout with some wet weather on Sunday.